I always loved music since my little, very little age. Since I was like three, I naturally danced to music. And, um, and very quickly, you know, I started loving uh, all sorts of music from classical to rock music. And uh, I picked up the guitar towards seven, yeah, I was seven. Uh, and I loved it instantly and um, when I was 15, about 15, I knew that that's what I wanted to do forever. Actually when I was a child I listened to what my mother listened to. So I listened to Franz Liszt, that's why I have some Hungarian influences in my music. I listened to uh, Ravel's Bolero, I listened to the Rolling Stones, uh, that's from my father's side, all the bluesy stuff, uh, to classic rock music mostly. And uh, later on I picked up some heavier stuff like Led Zeppelin, but still very creative music. I liked it when it was uh, uh, very diverse and uh, that's what influenced me. Yeah, still today I got influenced by this sort of band. So 70s rock bands where, uh, where, where there was freedom, where there was freedom in creativity, which I can't find now. So with the band we try to follow these roots, not the music, but the way of thinking. When we were 18 with uh, Marco, we, we knew that we, we met each other and we decided to make a band and very quickly uh, found a good musical relationship. Then we met Maxim, who was 14 at that time. And uh, what, the first time we played, we said like, oh, that's going to be something special. So then we started playing. We didn't think about it, we were young. So we started playing. Um, rehearsed a lot, we didn't know about anything else, we had no idea about any musical business or how to call the band, uh, the name of the band, we had no idea about that, we just did because we loved it. So it was genuinely the passion of music that drove us towards, uh, towards playing. Then started the, the long process of finding a singer, so we had like six singers. Uh, because it was all, all, always very difficult to find the right singer for our music. And we met uh, Didier, uh, so that was in 2010. And we did four years with him until 2014. So that's the major part of our, our young career was with him. And uh, in 2014, we understood that we wanted to do nothing else than music. We wanted to live with music and we wanted to tour, record albums and try to make a living out of it. And uh, that's when we realized that uh, the singer at that time, Didier, was not um, into it as much as we were. And then came the difficult decision to make the band as it was at the beginning. So only the three of us. So we remained the three of us. The three of us took up the, the vocals. So Maxim and Marco are doing the, the, the harmony and I'm doing the lead vocals. So it took a, a year and a half to learn how to sing, actually, we never did before. Most songs come up in my bedroom, so I'm like, uh, I'm sitting in my bed and playing guitar, thinking about something, thinking about li lyrics or music. That's the first stage of the music, so I, I usually write the music and the lyrics. And then starts what I call the decoration. So when, we, when the song is already existing, then the two others come in. And uh, they have to bring their creativity. So uh, Maxim and Marco, they, have, um, they choose their own, own arrangements. And they modify what I did, in a way, because they propose something new. You know, we are really connected, as we've been so much during these last 10 years we've got the same influences the same ways of thinking but we are still three very different persons so that's how the band works you know you, you need that magical triangle you know that means like uh, I need I wouldn't be able to do the same music without them I don't feel very well about the vintage rock label uh, uh, I don't think we're doing the vintage rock. We've got vintage rock influences. Vintage rock is almost uh, depreciative. You know, it's like um, 
it's all music that's already done and we use all sorts of different uh, influences also we uh, we are a multicultural band so uh, Marco is Italian Maxim is from Switzerland I have Greek and Hungarian roots why should we be influenced by only by American blues as most rock bands do there is so much more history in Europe than just blues and jazz that comes from America of course that's what we basically love but you know all, all all the cultural aspects of music and uh, uh, folk music that we can bring into our music, I think that's what defines Dirty Sound Magnet today. Every aspect of the music is important. I think the most important aspect of our music now is surprise. So, you know, we, we just had six concerts uh, this week and what we realized is that people never know when to upload. You know, they're like, they think it's the end of the song and you know, it's not the end of the song. And that happens, you know, through the whole concert. They never know when it starts, when it ends, what, what happens, and that's the element of surprise. We got a two hour set, and uh, we, had, we have to play one hour, and we were like, you know, for three days we were like, do we have to remove this song? and say, no, don't remove this song, remove that one. Oh no, not this one. So it was very hard to put a set list together because we have music, you have to get into it. It's not like a, we play three minute songs and you know, you can throw in a 40 minute set and you know, it's very uh, punchy and all. We need time, you know, we need time to, to share, share with the audience, to get the, 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 the right energy between us and the audience. So it was very difficult to do a one hour set. And uh, so all songs are very different one from another. I think that the audience will need like 20, 30 minutes to understand where we want to go. So we'll see. Az anyukám magyar, apukám görög. Uh, apukám Magyarországon született ő is. Elég komplikált, bonyolult uh, családi uh, történetem van és amikor fiatalok voltak, eljöttek 20 éves korukba, eljöttek Svájcba, és akkor én ott születtem. És az anyukám megtanított magyarul. Nagyon különleges lesz nekem, mert a sok család, családtag is el fog jönni a koncertre. Pécsről, Pécsről van az én családom, akkor onnan is feljönnek. Akkor több, több lesz a feszültség, amit érezni fogok, nagyobb lesz mint ha máshol játszanák, mert tudom, hogy feljönnek, és akkor tudják azt, hogy zenélek, meg minden, hogy akkor tudom, hogy jól, jól akarunk teljesíteni ma este, elég komplikáltabb lesz nekünk.